building a rain garden at this point. The, um, the kind of depressed part of the garden has already been created. We have mulched it and now we are planting it. Most of you are aware that a lot of what's in the nursery is not native. And conservationists generally like native things because that's what belongs here and that's what our native uh, wildlife, you know, are adapted to live with. So some plants only like to be wet, some plants only like to be dry or in well-drained conditions, Hi. and some plants actually tolerate a real range of conditions. And rain gardens very much have times of feast and times of famine. So there are going to be, you know, a couple weeks maybe where it won't rain at all in the summer. So it's, the plants in here are going to have to survive that time without water, because the idea is that you're not watering your rain garden. Um, you're going you're gonna to want to water the plants initially for like the first couple of weeks, water them every few days. But after that, it should take care of itself. And the beauty also of the rain garden is since there's so much mulch in here, and because it has so much water going into it, it's going to actually stay pretty moist year-round, which is why you don't need to water after that initial babying period of your plants to get them established. These are also perennials, so they will last, they will come back year after year, you will not have to replant again, unless some die. Um, and so because they're perennial, um, as they get older, they get fuller, kind of like trees. Um, and, but they, the, re, the roots also go deeper into the soil. Another reason why you don't need to water, because instead of your grass, which has roots, you know, really very shallow, so they dry out very quickly. With these guys, they might have roots that go down several inches. You don't want compaction in your rain garden because you want it to drain. So if you're stomping on it, it's going to compact the soil and drain as well. And you'll see that there's roots growing through here, so you just want to kind of tear them off. And then, and then you see it's actually kind of root bound. And you want to just kind of loosen it up. You want to be rough with it. <laughs> but not too rough. Um, and generally speaking, I plant these things about two feet apart. And you want to just push, some, in some cases, we have probably too much mulch. <laughs> I try to collect the soil I dig up so that I'm not creating soil on the surface for weeds. I don't want the mulch getting in there right away. But you dig down. So the top of this is about even with what you think the soil line is. And you just stand it up like that and pour your soil around it and then run your finger along so that it's, it's uh, you know, you're compacting it so you've got that good soil contact. Push it down and then um, we can water these in later but just kind of bring it around. 